Hey everyone. Okay, so now we're going to work on another question. Uh, this time it's looking at the cost of equity um, calculation. This tutorial is specifically geared at people who are doing um, SEMA uh, financial strategy. And I know that a lot of you do struggle with these questions because especially in an exam to recognize what the hell you're supposed to do in such a short period of time. So what I want you to do is Let's say you get a question like this in the exam. Okay, this is what you must not do. Start over there. blah de blah de blah 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 And you just like, you get lost in all the detail. Then, then the question is, what would the cost of equity change to if the company changed its debt to equity ratio? That's where, that's where you must look. You must look for what they want straight up. Don't go through all the detail. Look for what they want straight away. So the question is asking for the cost of equity. And what would the cost of equity be if it changed its debt to equity ratio to 60%? Okay. Now, what do we know about cost of equity? We know that as you increase debt, as you increase debt, you will increase the cost of equity. This is according to the M&M formula um, or M&M theory. And the reason why you will increase the cost of debt as the cost of debt, um, as the debt uh, amount of debt that you have increases will lead to an increase in the cost of equity is because of risk. Um, the more debt you have in a company, the more risk you have. And therefore, okay, for those who maybe have not covered the section, you obviously know cost of equity. What is cost of equity? What is it? That is the return that your that your your shareholders, your equity holders want. Okay, so the, when, when you increase debt and you increase, when you increase debt, you are increasing risk. Okay, and what do, what do investors want if you increase their risk? If you increase the risk of an investment, investors are going to say to you, well, I, I, want, I want a higher return. And that's exactly what they then get. So the question is essentially saying, okay, we're going to increase our debt over here to 60%. We're going to increase our debt here to 60%. And we want to know what effect that's going to have on this amount here, this 14%, right? Obviously, that's the cost of equity. So currently, um, this company has... A hundred million dollars of equity shares. So it's got some equity and it's got some debt in its capital structure. All right. So it is geared to an extent. But if it changes its debt equity ratio to 60%, right, that would mean that this ratio would change. Now, I'm going into a lot of detail here, and obviously you're not going to have this amount of time to think about this whole thing in the exam. But to make it really easy, what you need to realize is this. Whenever you get a cost of equity question, a cost of equity, whenever you get a cost of equity question, okay, and they're changing the debt equity ratio. We know it generally, okay, it doesn't always work like this because the, the debt equity ratio could could also go down. So they 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 but they are changing the debt equity, debt equity ratio. In most cases, it's they normally increase the debt in these kinds of questions. And they just want to see if you understand what effect this is going to have on the cost of equity. So we know we know that the cost of equity will increase 
because debt is going up, right? The percentage of debt has increased now to 60%. So we know that that 14% is going to be higher. It could be 15 or 16 or whatever percent, but we know it's going to be more than that 14% there. So how do we go about calculating this in a really quick way? Right, so this is what you do. You go 14, 14 plus, remember the 14 is going to increase, right, plus, what is the cost of debt? There it is, 8%. So you must go 14 plus the difference between your cost of equity and your cost of debt, which is 8 multiplied by your new de debt equity percentage that multiplied by your tax rate. Why? Because that's your tax shield. So what they're trying to, it's very, very simple cal um, calculation, but you must just remember this at the back of your head. So when they ask you, when they ask you for a cost of equity cost of equity cal um, calculation what will the cost of equity be that's implying the risk how much will the risk change normally it's debts increasing therefore risk is increasing therefore the 14 percent is increasing so what will the cost of equity change to and the result of this calculation comes to 14,72%. 14,72%. That is the new cost of equity. And as, as mentioned earlier, as you can see, the percentage of the cost of equity before they adjusted the debt equity ratio was 14, which is that amount over there. Then the calculation is your cost of equity subtracted from your cost of debt. Notice pre-tax because you're going to be adjusting for tax over here. Pre-tax over there. And it's as simple as this. You just take your debt equity ratio which is over there they give it to you there it is there the debt equity ratio multiplied by tax the tax rate got it it's as easy as that